Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday out there, waiting for some people to hop on. We got some peoples. Good morning. I hope you had your breakfast today. I hope you don't mind I brought mine with me. It smells really good. Um, I have to be honest though, I went out and bought waffles. Hello, good morning, Connolly family. Hey, Kaylin. And um, I forgot to cook my waffles and I planned on eating them during something. So you might see me eat a raw waffle. We'll see what happens. Hey, Liliana and Peter and Mason and Hunter. And did I miss anybody? And Hannah. Hey guys, good morning. Hi, Isabella and Sophia. I hope you're hungry. Are you hungry? Hey, Emmy. How are you? Good morning. Oh, thank you very much, Mackenzie. I will enjoy my raw breakfast breakfast of um, blueberry waffles and some bananas. <laughs> what did you guys have for breakfast? Can you start listing in the comments below? Brianna and Chloe, good morning. I miss you too. And um, okay, so we're gonna wait. I know sometimes it takes a little while for people to hop on. Landon's here, oh my goodness. Hey Landon. Okay, so yes, get your breakfast ready. Start thinking about what you like to eat for breakfast, even if it's good stuff like strawberries and whipped cream or waffles or pancakes. Ooh, I love eggs too, yummy. Hey Charlie and Kyle, I miss you too. Congratulations on the baby brother, Landon. Ooh, French toast sticks. Oh, I love French toast. Mm-hmm. Ooh, and Matthew had pancakes. Yum. Caleb, what did you have for breakfast? I'd love to know. And Nicholas and Emmy, pancakes and strawberries. Yum. Okay, good. You're giving me so many good ideas. We're gonna get started. Hey, Jax, how are ya? We're gonna get started with our um, hello song and Harper had yogurt and pancakes. Yum, I love yogurt. I had yogurt myself. And Anthony loves chocolate chip pancakes. I love those too, Anthony, for sure. And oatmeal, oh, I had your oatmeal yesterday. You know, breakfast is one of my favorite, favorite meals. It is my favorite meal, not one of my favorite meals. It's above the rest. Hey, Adriana and Frankie and Isabella and Sadie and Sadie had muffins. Oh, I love blueberry muffins. Yogurt and granola, did you make your own granola? That would be too fancy. I don't have time for that, right? Okay, let's sing hello. <laughs> no, we're just getting out of hand, right? Ooh, I love cheesy eggs, Jones. This is fabulous. Ooh, and an English muffin. What'd you have on that English muffin? Some butter, some cream cheese, some jelly. Mmm, eggs, yum. Ooh, that sounds good, Adriana and Frankie. Okay, ready everybody? Let's get those clapping hands ready. Let's clap, clap, clap. Clap and a clap and a clappity clap. Hello everybody, yes indeed, yes indeed, yes indeed. Hello everybody, yes indeed, yes indeed, my darling. Oh, that was fabulous, give yourselves a round of applause. Hello Avery and Alexa, and I think Johnny and Audrey are watching, and Cora and Alyssa, I miss you guys. I wish we could be doing this face to face. Hi, Aubrey and Margo. Okay, we're gonna get started with our first story. Are you ready? Our first story is 10 Hungry Pigs. Pigs do like to eat. I like to eat too. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what are they gonna be eating? You guys right? remember, there's another story about the pigs going in the bathtub by the same author, by Derek Anderson. So today we're reading this to you with thanks to Orchard Books and Derek Anderson. So, hi Patrick and Daniel. One pig, one very hungry pig, one very hungry Miss Carrie with her raw waffles. Peanut butter and jelly? What a yummy treat. This is just what one hungry pig wants to eat. Mm-hmm, he's got a little helper over here. Who's that? It's like a little ducky. We won't need a feast. A small snack will do. But here comes a hungry pig number two. Can you hold up two fingers? Can I see? Oh, good job, everyone. Thank you. Pig two has pickles? Wait a second. They're green and smelly. 
And pickles don't go with peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> they go on their own. I like lots of, are those peas? Oh my goodness, cries pig number three. We see three. On this sandwich? Are you kidding me? <laughs> hmm, oh boy, pickles and peas. Who's going to eat that? Does pig number four have fruit on her hat? What kind of fruit do you see there, everybody? Let me know. See some bananas, yep, anything else? Some grapes too, ooh, yum. How about some pears? I like pears. Five's dropping fish. Fish? Number six has bees. Pig seven is pulling macaroni and cheese. Oh my goodness. That's all gonna go on one sandwich? Come on now. Pig eights flipping pancakes on this tower of muck. Oh boy, number nine is backing up a gravy truck. Do you put gravy on your sandwiches? I don't think so. I put gravy on my mashed potatoes, but not my peanut butter and jelly sandwich with pickles and peas and fruit. Ugh. What's wrong with these pigs? This really must stop. I see that reaction over there. <laughs> Pig tens putting ice cream and sprinkles on top. What? I love ice cream and sprinkles. Just right, I agree. Not on that sandwich, absolutely not. No pig will eat this. Ice cream and pancakes and mac and cheese with gravy soaked fruit with fish and bees on peanut butter and jelly with pickles and peas? Come on now! What do you say to that? Let me hear it. Ugh. That's right. Mm -hmm. Pig 11 likes what he sees. It looks delicious to me. Is that pig 11 over there? Oh goodness. Oh no. <gasps> what? Pig 11? 11? There are only 10 pigs. Who is pig 11? That's right, it's a wolf. Oh my goodness. It's a hungry wolf. You guessed it. 10, count backwards with me. Nine, eight, seven, six, move your feet. Five, four, three, two, one. Now it's time to eat. Who is pretending to be that wolf? That's right, it was that little ducky. One pig. Mm, that looks perfect. Just the sandwich, peanut butter and jelly. One very full pig. Uh-huh. Burp. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Can I hear your burp? Let me hear it. Ugh, gross, excuse you. And that was 10 hungry pigs. Oh yeah, that was really good. All right. I forgot to do a song in the beginning. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna wind our arms up. Can you do that? We're gonna roll forwards and we're gonna roll backwards. That's right. You know this song? Where's up? Can you point to up? Good, it's up there. And where's down, the opposite of up? It's right down below, right? How about if I said out? Where's out? Show me with your hands. That's right, it's out. <laughs> how big is my screen? And how about in? That's right, we're gonna push it in just like that. So let's roly poly, get those winding arms ready. Roly poly, roly poly, up, 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 up. Roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly, down, down, down. Down, down, down. Goodbye, everyone. Roly poly, roly poly. Out, out, out. Out, out, out. Roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly. In, 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 
in, in, in. This is my favorite part. Rolly poly, rolly poly. Fast, 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 fast. Rolly, rolly poly, rolly, rolly poly. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Give yourselves a round of applause. That was fantastic. Okay, I have another great song. It's why we were talking about all those breakfast foods before. Eggs, pancakes, strawberries, oatmeal, granola. Yum! English muffins. Mm-hmm. I have some breakfast foods here. Or maybe not breakfast foods. What do you think that looks like? I'd say that that's some whipped cream. Mm, I like whipped cream. And right here I have a tiny little strawberry. That's right, or a raspberry, whatever you feel. And right here I have not just one. Well, well now I have one because I dropped one. <laughs> I have two blueberries. I love blueberries. I just had some really sweet blueberries from the grocery store. Mm. And right here, what do you think that is? Some good maple syrup on top. We have a pancake. And this one might be a little tough, but it looks like it would fit right about here. So I'm going to call a sausage, right? Have some sausage and eggs. And I like my fruit. So I have two fresh orange slices. That's right. Some orange slices. Did someone before say French toast? I've got two pieces of French toast right here. And of course, one and two, what are these? Bananas, that's right. Goes along with my real banana right about there. And I have the last, it's my waffle. That's right. We're gonna make a man out of food. Are you ready? Here we go. This is my first time trying to use the flannel board with this story time, so bear with me. But I'm all set to go. I have my board. Let me take my food pieces and Oh, I'm gonna get, my head is gonna get cut off, huh? Here we go. Hello. Hello, Evelyn, Oliver, and Violet. Nice to see ya. Okay, here we go. There was a man made of food, made of food, made of food. There was a man made of food and his name was Flip Flap Jack. Hi, Valentina. All right. And his belly was made of a Waffle, a waffle, a waffle. His belly was named, made of a waffle and his name was Flip Flap Jack. Hey, Anthony and Dominic. And I forgot to tell you about this one before. I bet your parents love this. Maybe you like it too. This is my version of bacon. That's right. His legs were made of bacon, of bacon, of bacon. His legs were made of bacon and his name was Flip Flap Jack. And now, what do you think these could be used for if his legs were made of bacon? How about his arms? You ready? Sing with me. His arms were made of bananas, bananas, bananas. His arms were made of bananas and his name was Flip Flap Jack. Okay, he needs a head. What do you think his head should be made out of? Maybe a piece of French toast? Nah. How about a strawberry? No, not big enough. How about this, a pancake, you ready? His face was made of a pancake, a pancake, a pancake. His face was made of a pancake and his name was Flip Flap Jack. Okay, well he needs hair, right? And you know what, just like the rest of us, he hasn't had a haircut in a very long time. So his hair is made of whipped cream and that's definitely gonna fall off and I don't really care. You ready? His hair is made of whipped cream, whipped cream, whipped cream. His hair is made of whipped cream and his name was Flip Flap Jack. Okay, and his feet were made of these right here. Kaylin, what did you have for breakfast this morning? French toast? His feet were made of French toast, French toast, French toast. His feet were made of French toast and his name was Flip Flap Jack. And his eyes were made of blueberries. And his nose was made of a, oh, I lost it, hold on. His nose was made of a strawberry. And his ears were made of, what were these again? Oranges, that's right. Hey Hudson, Jones's mom had a haircut. 
Jones had a mom haircut. I read that wrong. I bet it looks fabulous. Let's see. Let's put those orange on his ears right there. His ears were made of oranges, of oranges, of oranges. His ears were made of oranges and his name was Flip Flap Jack. We forgot his smile. What is this again? Oh, it looks, it just fits me perfectly. Maybe I shouldn't give it to Flip Flap Jack. What do you think? I'll leave it on my face? Nah. His mouth was made of a sausage, a sausage, a sausage. His mouth was made of a sausage and his name was Flip Flap Jack. Hey, Charlie and Anna, good job, everyone. Give yourselves a round of applause. That was fabulous. Let me put my chair back. We're getting back over here. I found some whipped cream on the floor. Very messy, I'm gonna have to wash the floor later. I think I'll wear the whipped cream on my head for the next story. You know what we didn't say for breakfast? We didn't say we have donuts for breakfast sometimes. I know you do. I know I do sometimes. Do you like donuts? I do. Why am I so out of breath, huh? It's so weird. Just from standing up. I get so nervous. Oh, wait, Mr. Panda. This is brought to you by Steve Anthony and his publisher. <laughs> Thanks, Diana. Thanks for laughing at me. <laughs> I swear. I'll wait, Mr. Panda, and this comes to you from Scholastic Press and also the West Isop Library. Don't you miss it? I do. What are you making, Mr. Panda? <laughs> wait and see. It's a surprise. I think I gave away the surprise. No, I will not wait. Goodbye. I'll wait, Mr. Panda. Who's that? A little penguin. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Are you making cookies, Mr. Panda? Wait and see. It's a surprise. I've caught my breath, by the way. Hmm, I wonder what he's cooking up. No, waiting is too hard. Goodbye. I know, me too, Avery and Alexa. I miss it too. Are you making cupcakes, Mr. Panda? Wait and see. It's a surprise. Hmm. Oh, look at those cute little bunnies popping out of the holes. No, I'm done waiting. I'll wait, Mr. Panda. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, bunnies. Say goodbye to the bunnies. They weren't very good at waiting. I know. Sometimes it's really hard to wait, but sometimes it's really worth it. Is it ready yet, Mr. Panda? No. Wait here. You guys are doing such a good job waiting. I don't like waiting. Goodbye. Hmm. Oh, these non-waiters. I'll wait, Mr. Panda. This penguin's a good egg. I'm waiting, Mr. Panda. Hmm. <gasps> Surprise! <gasps> wow! That was worth the wait. Mm-hmm. I know. Thank you, Mr. Panda. I can't wait to eat it. And that was the very short, I'll wait, Mr. Panda. I know I'm tired of waiting to go back to the library with you guys, but I know it's gonna be so worth it in the end, right? Okay, we're gonna do another great song. We've got the ukulele. Oh, Christine, that is my favorite message of all. I don't even know what that says, but I think it does say poo. That's kind of funny, right? Are you ready? And are you hungry? Are you hungry for a banana? Are you hungry for an uncooked waffle? I bet you are. If you're hungry and you know it, clap your hands. Are you ready? Let's do it together, because I forgot to play along. Let's go. <laughs> if you're hungry and you know it, clap your hands. If you're hungry and you know it, clap your hands. If you're hungry and you know it and you really 
want to show it if you're hungry and you know it clap your hands did you clap your hands i hope you did that was terrible i know you're laughing at me and i don't really mind as long as you're singing along okay next thing if you're hungry and you know it rub your belly because when i get really hungry my stomach starts to rumble can you rub your belly with me while i play this funny ukulele <laughs> If your toddlers love keyboards, yes, they do. Do it again, toddler. Or Christine, Christine's toddler. How about that? If you're hungry and you know it, rub your belly. Let me see you rub that belly. If you're hungry and you know it, rub your belly. If you're hungry and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're hungry and you know it, rub your belly. How about when I'm really hungry? and I get a little hangry, I start shouting. So let's shout, I am. You ready? If you're hungry and you know it, shout I am. If you're hungry and you know it, shout I am. If you're hungry and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're hungry and you know it, shout I am. I am. <laughs> okay, now we're going to put that all together with a do all three. Hello, Kaylin. Is that your stomach grumbling? I can hear it from here. How about Mason? Is your stomach grumbling? I can hear it from here. Let's see. If you're hungry and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, rub, rub, I am. If you're hungry and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, rub, rub, I am. If you're hungry and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're hungry and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, rub, rub, I am. All right, everybody, good job. Now, you've stuck with me this whole time. I really appreciate it. I had a good time. I hope you had a good time, too. Um, we're going to sing our goodbye song. I would like to know... If there's a book that you've been missing, I know I personally was missing Everyone Loves Bacon, but somebody had that checked out from the library so I couldn't read it today. I hope you're enjoying that book because that's a good one. Um, let me know if you'd like me to read a specific story. I've got Dragons Love Tacos, I've got Pete the Cat, I have The Napping House, and I have access to a whole lot more. So let me know and now we'll sing our goodbye song. You ready? Let's. Brianna and Chloe, right? And I am Buge. I love whatever that means. And I love Dragons Love Tacos. Okay, so tune in next week. Oh, and it's Cinco de Mayo. Why didn't I do Dragons Love Tacos today? So in a belated Cinco de Mayo, happy Cinco de Mayo, by the way, we will read Dragons Love Tacos next week. I will also take more suggestions because I can put them on the list. I don't have to do a theme, right? Pete the Cat, you got it, Patrick. No problem. You're welcome. Bye, Mackenzie. And we'll see you next week, everyone. Make sure you tune in to Pajama Storytime. If you haven't had enough yet, hey, Anne. Oh, I miss you. Um, if you haven't had enough yet, all of these story times, you can play and repeat. They're on our YouTube channel. Uh, Miss Carol's story times are on there. And Miss Renee is on there with her mommy and me. Anna meant I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Go eat, Anna. You better fill up. What are you going to have to eat? You're welcome, and I'm going to sign off. Otherwise, I'll keep rambling and showing my hand. Am I giving... Oh, how about a virtual high five? Here we go. High five. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, Mason and Hunter. Goodbye, Charlie and Kyle. We miss you, too. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Go celebrate. Go get some sunshine. Go ride a bike. I know I'm going to go do a little workout. So, see you guys later. Bye.